In GimKit Creative, if you want to set up areas of your map that are restricted for players to access, or you want to control player movement in some way, you can use a device called a barrier. So barriers are devices that allow you to control how players move by blocking off certain areas. Um, this is what a barrier block looks like. And you can completely control the color, the size, the visibility, all kinds of good stuff. So if I click on a barrier block, these are my options. I can change the size and I can just drag some of these corners to make it whatever shape and size I want it to be. I can also turn it into a circle if I wanted to. I can change the color, the transparency. I can decide if a border should be around the block and I can decide if it's visible in game. Um, in terms of its availability, I can decide if the block is active when the game starts. I can decide if it applies to everybody in the game or just a specific player that activates it or a team. Um, and then uh, we can use channels to control blocks as well. So I'm activating um, these blocks when they receive a channel called barrier. And then the blocks are going to turn back off again when they receive a channel called barrier off. So these are work, these work like kind of like remote control signals. All right, so I'm going to show you an example of using barrier blocks as a trap. So I have it set up so that these barrier blocks should be off when the game starts, and then pushing this button will activate them, which would kind of trap the player in this square here. So let's see how that works. Go down to my button. Obviously, those blocks are invisible. They're not there. They're not active. I can go right to my button and interact with it. And as soon as I do, those blocks pop up. And I cannot get out of this little square area. So they could be great used for setting up traps like this, where maybe I would set up another button that a, play a teammate has to come push to let me out. Um, or if I want to restrict certain areas of the map until a player accomplishes something, maybe I use a counter as well to count to a certain number of questions answered or items found or whatever the, the mechanic that I want to use is. I can use barrier blocks to restrict player movement until they accomplish what I want them to accomplish.